it here. Whenever we're in Goolwa, we always make sure to get fish and chips. I never have to order much usually because for someone who loves fishing and going to the beach like Aaron, he cannot stand sand. So any little bit of sand that goes in his food, he just won't handle it anymore. <laughs> but that's alright, just means it's more for us. Anyway, let's get to the beach. Beach. The entrance to the beach is just over there behind us. So what I'm going to do is let some air out of the tyres. The entrance can get quite soft and down at the mouth as well on the far end gets quite soft as well. So better to be safe than sorry. We'll let some air out. Um, we have seen a few people get stuck here and have recovered a few people as well. But yeah, I'll let it down to about 18 psi. That's my go-to pressure. And then if we need to adjust from there, we will. But uh, yeah, let's get this done. And we'll head out to the beach in a minute. All right, we're at the entrance now. Oh, <laughs> what are we doing, Archer? We're driving. Oh, driving. Yeah, I can tell you it is. season for cockling or pipping is uh, from the 1st of November up to about I think the 31st of May uh, and the size and bag limits for them are 300 per person or 900 per vehicle uh, also the size limit would be uh, three and a half centimeters as well so I've got my little cocker cockle cockle <laughs> measure it here uh, so I'll be every cockle I pick up or we'll chucking this around it make sure it's the right size but how do I go about catching them 
I'll give you a quick demo. Oh, look at all the coffers over there, boys. Why are you going to get them for me? So it's something that I call the cockle shuffle, or a lot of people call the cockle shuffle. So basically, you got to wait for the waves to come in, and as they're going out, you want to do a little bit of a cockle shuffle dance. You can wait a second. You put your net in front of you. As the water's coming out, you get your feet together and you do your cockle shuffle. It's a bit like this. And hopefully you get down deep enough and you'll find some coffers down there and as the waves are going out it's going to push it all out into your net and that's where our feed comes from comes from <laughs> look i've got one it's an empty one but that there is what you call undersized please do not keep your undersized ones only take the ones that are oversized or three and a half centimeters and over I would like, I'd like to be able to do this in the future, and I'd like my kids to be able to do this in the future. Um, so yeah, do the right thing and take the uh, oversized ones. Should we put it back? Yeah. Good boy. All right, so this part of the beach here didn't produce as many as we'd hoped for, but um, this is what we got here. <laughs> we'll move a bit further down the beach shortly and uh, see if we can get a few more. But what I'll do is I'll give you a quick demo on how to measure them. Um, they're all pretty much the exact same size or a little bit, yeah, smaller some of them are, but they're all within the right size. Um, but I'll give you a quick demo. So they say to measure it from the widest, the widest parts on the, the on the cockle. Here's my cockle measure here. It even says three and a half centimeters right here um, at the widest part. But basically, you just go like this. Yep, you can see that that's well over the um, the, uh, the size limit there. Uh, but yeah, I'll even get one of the smaller ones, and it's still way over. But pretty much, if it's going like that, you're right. You're pretty much right. That's a keeper. All right, so we have a car full of very sandy children and we're heading down to the mouth. on the way to the mouth because Aaron's um, seen a lot of cockles on the floor so he just wanted to go have a shot at this spot. Um, just to make sure whenever you are going to the mouth that you do check the tides. Um, it is best to obviously drive on low tide. Um, it can, the water can come up quite high here so you just want to make sure that you don't get stuck between the sand dunes and the water. Um, it can make the track uh, obviously kind of like a one way which would be quite dangerous. This is what you like to see, literally all over the ground. Yeah, that's what you're meant to be getting. So, we found a spot. It was about, I don't know, maybe three k's down from where we were. And we're on to them. Have a look at that. <laughs>
we collected the cockles, we kept them in a bucket of salt water to let them perch. We refreshed the water twice more with extra salt water that we got from the beach. And then once we were home, we then put them in some salted fresh water. Everybody seems to do it slightly differently, but this method always works for us in removing any sand. All right, so we're back from our little cockling adventure down at Gorwa. Um, we did all right today. Um, we tried two different spots. The first spot wasn't uh, the best, didn't produce as many cockles as the second spot. I think we got like 20 um, in like an hour and a half. But uh, the second spot, which is I don't know, a couple of k's down further, and we bagged out in five minutes. But um, we got a few in here, as you can see. Um, all oversized, all over three and a half centimeters as well. Um, most of it will be bait for me and my fishing uh, adventures. Uh, but yeah, we'll separate. Yeah, <laughs> we'll separate a bit of it now so that uh, Talina can get her. Oh, and Levi can get a feed tonight. Um, so what we'll do is we've got, a, we've got a bucket of fresh water here. And um, we're gonna put, yep, good stuff Levi. We're gonna put a whole heap in there. And the reason why we're doing that is so that the cockles hold a lot of sand inside them. And you don't wanna just go chuck them in there, in the, the wok now and uh, wire them like that and then go to eat it and it's just full of, if you like, eating sandpaper. So we'll chuck them in there and when they're in there, we'll leave for about an hour, they all should open up and um, should release all the sand that they're holding in there. Um, and that will make it more, I guess, palatable <laughs> to, to eat the, the cockles. So we'll fill it up, because I know mum loves her cockles, and Levi too. Levi, you want to fill it up? Yep. And once we're done here, we'll leave it for an hour and then we'll tip it all out and then we'll chuck it on the wok. And um, I think they're wanting garlic cockles I think so we'll see how we go with that all right so we've got the cockles in cooking at the moment um, we didn't uh, get time to go to the shop to get all the ingredients we needed so we're just uh, trying to make do with what we got here at the house right now uh, but at the moment we've got a whole heap of garlic like I've chucked a whole jar of garlic in there because I love garlic uh, lots of butter a bit of lemon juice a bit of water um, salt and pepper it's all in there, um, and it's at the moment trying to get the steam away. Um, a little bit of chicken stock as well, I can add in there as well. But we've got a couple more other things here that I might add at the end. Um, depends how it's tasting, but yeah, at the moment we'll see how this goes. Bit of chili. Not too much chili. It's for the kids, remember. Yeah, <laughs> Looks good, Daddy. Um, all right, so we finished cooking the cockles. Now the boys and mummy, they're going to give us a taste test and uh, let's see how it goes. Does that one go, Levi? Archer? Using your fingers. <laughs> Straight into it. Yeah. How's that one taste? Good. Good? Tell the camera uh, that it's good and daddy can cook. Occasionally. He's not a chef, but he can cook. Oh, Kennedy wants one. Kennedy, you want one? Come here, darling. Uh, Yummy, Archer? Uh, yeah, good. Go sweet Are you going to eat them all? Yum. Mom? Go on, Daddy. Eat it. Oh, really? Oh, you didn't want it? Just in case it had some sand still. It's got sand in it. <laughs> Actually, not a bad uh, There's plenty of them there, Not bad there, Aaron. You did good. Yeah, um, Kennedy wants no, 50. No, there's two empty ones Mom? in there. There's lots in Give there. Give it a go. Alright. Um, Yum. Mmm, mmm. That flavours are good. Yeah, you did good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> I did good. So, dinner's good. Kids love it. Wife loves it. Happy wife, happy life. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications and give us a big like. Where to next? The beautiful Adelaide Hills. <laughs> Levi! <laughs> Yeah, let's get this done and we'll head out to the beach in a minute. Sweet. Right. It's not working, right? Ha ha ha! There we go.